Hi. So now let us see the next operator that is Cartesian product that we will represent with this cross mark. Okay. So what is this one? This is very simple. What is the Cartesian product? You can see. So we are going to have two relations, R1 and R2. So we are just combining these actually with all possible combinations. Okay. So for example, in R1, if you have N rows are there, in R2, if you have M rows, then maximum you are going to get n into m because in the Cartesian product duplicates automatically going to eliminate right if at all if you have any duplicates it will eliminate but maximum n into m rows it is going to generate actually so that is what we are going to represent with cross mark okay so if you see degree of r1 cross r2 that meaning is what actually degree of r1 plus degree of r2 this meaning is especially degree meaning is total number of columns. So, for example, in R1, if you have uh, if you have uh, five columns, in R2, if you have three columns. So, it is, these are the attributes actually. Then total columns, total attributes in the result is few, uh, eight attributes actually. So, let us try to understand this uh, Cartesian product uh, with a simple example. So you can see here, this is the relation R1 and this is the relation R2. Attribute A, attribute B, under that this data we have. Now what we will do is, we will perform R1 cross R2. So that means we performed a Cartesian product actually. So what is the output for this? For this, what is the output? First of all, degree of R1. What are all attributes in R1? That means, uh, uh, left operand, how many attributes are there? Let us take all of them first. Followed by second operand, that means second relation, all attributes also you can write down like this. Then, now under these attributes, now A, B, C, D, total four attributes, that is what this meaning, second point meaning. Degree of R1 cross R2 is what actually? R1 attributes total plus R2 attributes total. That is what total number of columns actually. Now, this is the first row in R1. This you are combining with the first row in R2. That is what 1, A, and here 10, X. That is what this one. Same way, this first row in R1 combining with the second row in R2 actually. So that is what here it is same 1, A, and here 20, Y. And one more row is there here that you are combining. So 1a here 30 z. So this is what one row you have a you combined with all other rows in R2 actually. Same way, second row also. So that is what 2b and here 10x. Then the next two. D, this you are combining with the second row here. That is what 20 Y. So this is simple discussion only, but this is very important for uh, further discussion actually. So 2 B and here it is combining with this third row in R2. So that is that is 30 Z. So this is what first of all try to understand total how many records it is generated. So in R1, we have two rows in R2, we have two rows, three rows. Total six rows it is generated, all possible combinations it is generated actually. So this is called Cartesian product. So that is very simple actually. And a number of attributes in the result is actually in the first relation number of attributes plus second relation number of attributes. That is what the result uh, total number of attributes actually. And total number of records is actually in R1, how many records? In R2, how many records? Their uh, product is actually the number of records in the result. Okay. So this is simple one only. Now let us see here one simple, uh, let us try to answer this one. How you can use this uh, Cartesian product for our discussion actually. So here you can see uh, these these three uh, relations we are already seeing. Depositor relation is there, customer name, account number. Borrower is there, customer name, loan number. And loan is there, loan, branch, and how much amount. 
So assume their data we have here. So what we have to write down here is, he's asking that find all the customers who have a loan in the branch Hyderabad. So we need customer names actually, whoever have a loan in Hyderabad. So branch is available in this table in the relation loan and customer name is uh, available. Customer name is uh, available in depositor actually. Okay. Uh, customer name uh, customer name is available in borrower actually. Okay. So first what we are doing is, first of all, we have to join these two. Okay. So, the, so what we are doing is, First of all, you perform the Cartesian product, borrower Cartesian product with the loan relation. Then what is going to happen, as we've seen in the earlier discussion, here four records are there, here four records are there, 14, four into four, 16 records are going to generate from this. Now what we need actually in this, whoever is in the Hyderabad, only those, uh, only those uh, uh, customer names only required. So here we are going to put a condition. First of all, condition is what actually loan number here, here loan number must be match. So that is what the first condition is borrower dot loan number that must be equal to here loan dot loan number loan dot loan number okay then after that not only this one branch must be hyderabad so that is what and operator and branch equal to hyderabad so now what is going to happen so you can see here what is happening here 101 here, 101 here matched and Hyderabad. So customer D is coming and another one is uh, 104 here and here also 104, Hyderabad is matched, is it? So two records are matching, right? But this is not uh, displaying the data. We need customer names, right? So what we are doing, this entire result take as a one relation in this relation, what we need actually only customer name. So by using projection, let us select that one. So that is what borrower dot, borrower dot, what we need? Customer name, okay. So borrower dot customer name, let us take here. So with this, what is happening actually? So whoever have a loan, the customers who have a loan in the branch Hyderabad, their names we are displaying here. So that is what you can see inner to outer, this action is performing. So here borrower into loan, this Cartesian product is going to happen so that the total 16 records it is generating. Out of these 16, wherever match is there, loan number in the borrower, loan number in the loan. Whoever have a match, only those records it is selecting. So four records it is selecting. In those four also, branch must be Hyderabad. So only two records are there with the branch Hyderabad. So what we are going to get output. So we are going to get the output that is uh, uh, customer names. Whose customer names we are getting here? So here, 101 loan number, whoever have, 101 loan number is D. And uh, here, 104 also, Hyderabad's 104 loan number is G. E. So it is finally returning two records actually. So this example, especially we are discussing how to use the Cartesian product sometimes. So because we are combining two tables right here. So at that time, based on our requirement, you can uh, apply this Cartesian product actually. Okay, so of course, we will see more examples on this Cartesian product also. And uh, we will see which one is better. Uh, and later we are going to see join of giant source. So at that time, this much also not required. So let us see all those things. This is the first thing that how to use the Cartesian product. Okay.